welcome back to my channel our channel i know i, I always mix it up with what i say <laughs> i hope you're all doing okay um so today we are doing some stuff around the house so i thought you'd like to see as always um i like to show you what we're doing to the house i like to keep you updated um, and just yeah i like to talk to you <laughs> so Brad is currently outside doing the slabs. So we've got some slabs to finish off. Um, I think there was about eight slabs that needed to be cut and laid. So Brad's doing that. Then we're going to put pebbles down the side. So then essentially the patio is finished. And then it's on to the next thing, which is decking. But the wood gets delivered on Tuesday so that'll be possibly next week's vlog or maybe the weeks after because next week's vlog is an exciting one because my best friend is coming to stay for the weekend so I'm definitely going to vlog um my time with it I'm sorry if I'm squinting the, the it's, sun is out today and it's beautiful and I always like to come and sit in this little um I'll say nook and Brad will say it's not a nook, it's a bay window, which it is a bay window, but I'm sitting in this nook. <laughs> um, I'm getting cramp. Oh. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you to catch up, to see how you all are. Um, thank you for letting me know which countries um, and cities you're all from. If you didn't comment on the last one, please comment down below and, and update me and let me know where you're from so I can see where all of my subscribers are. I'm so close. I'm trying to, sorry, I'm looking around for my phone because I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. What? What? A thousand subscribers. So thank you so much for your support and subscribing and commenting and liking. It means more than you know. Like, it really does mean so much because I'm doing this as a hobby and because I enjoy it. And the fact that you, you guys want to, watch and support me just it makes me feel really happy so thank you um but yeah i'm getting distracted oh i actually also wanted to say thank you let me go and grab them one minute be right back i'm here but i wanted to say thank you to the company that um sent me these products so they sent me the by the way this is not an ad i'm not being paid to say this i'm just saying thank you um they said um they said i can't speak can i ever in my vlogs but they sent me this s life wireless doorbell i mean it does look dead smart actually we've had it open god i can't get it open now and we had it open and it does look really smart so there's two plugins um so if anyone presses the bell it will um ring inside so i could have one downstairs or up we actually do already have a doorbell so um we won't be using this one but my dad needs a doorbell so i'll we're going to give it to him on thursday so hopefully it's amazing i'll let you know but so far so good it looks like a really nice product and really you can't go wrong with a plug-in doorbell can you it's a wireless doorbell you just can't really go wrong with them can you like surely um but yeah my dad is having this um and then next that they sent me it was the same company it's different brands but the um it was a lady that emailed me asking um if she could send me some products so thank you um and they sent me the q power basic um fairy lights and oh my god so they sent me some copper ones which these are amazing you get obviously a battery but you get two in a pack um like this they come really nice like sometimes you know when you order things and they just i don't know they just don't come um nice and this is all eco-friendly a box obviously there's plastic but the box that it comes in and then they sent me these other ones which is um another set of fairy lights but this style um sorry it's really bright so the camera's not doing it justice but thank you so much so they did send me some links oh again i'm so sorry let me grab my phone i'm not very good at this am i steady so <laughs> he's so he's so excited i don't know why um oh my gosh okay 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 let me talk to my friends let me talk to my friends <laughs> so <laughs> i love that so she sent me some links 
um, and you get discounts. So they're on Amazon. I'll put the links down below. Um, and I believe, let me have a look, you get with the copper lights, um, there's no discount on them, but I'll put the link for them anyway. Um, and then on the fairy lights, you get 20% off if you use code TINKLIN20. And then on the wireless doorbell, you get 10% off with the code BRIDY10. So it's really worth using it. And I don't think they were overly priced because um, I've looked on the link. So the wireless doorbell um, is... Let's have a look. $19.99 for a wireless doorbell. And it looked really, really nice. So, like I said, this isn't an ad. I'm not being told to say this. And I wouldn't ever promote anything that I don't like. So, please trust that I'll always be honest. So, like I say, I haven't tried the wireless doorbell. Um, you, want, you want your debut in the vlog. That's okay. Um, but, yeah, I haven't tried it. But surely you can't go wrong with a wireless doorbell. But I'm going to give it to my dad. And I'll update you in a few weeks um, in, if if it's really good. I mean, you, like I say, it's a, it's a wireless doorbell, surely. But then I'll let you know if he thinks it's good and if he thinks it's rubbish. Again, I will be honest with you. But fairy lights are fairy lights, aren't they? And you get two in a pack and I love fairy lights. So I am going to go and um, wrap some more around the tree that's in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm going to wrap them around the tree because there's only a few around them. And they're not very bright, so I'm, I'm undecided whether I'm going to put the copper ones or the other ones. But I shall decide. But thank you so much for sending me them. I can't believe that there's actually people and companies that want to send me products. Like, thank you. Like, wow. I can't believe it. Anyway, I'm getting distracted, aren't I? Because this isn't what the video is about whatsoever. And we're already, like, seven minutes into it. So I'm sorry about me waffling, as always. I just like to word vomit when I see you, don't I? Um, but, so I feel like I'm talking to my friends. Like, I know technically I'm talking to a camera. But I know that you're there down the line. So I'm technically talking to my friends. Um, but, yeah, so today I am going to finish the bench the long awaited bench that was going to go in our bedroom. We've got a proper sander now, so I'm going to sand it down, sand the legs down. I'm undecided about the top. I do like the colour, but it's a little bit orange for what I had in mind. So I might sand it, see what it looks like, and then repaint it anyway. Um, but I'm going to get that done today. Brad's obviously filling, finishing the slabs. We're going to get the. Um, pebbles down at the side so it's going to be a little bit of a garden update the bench so a little bit of a bedroom update because that's going to go in the in the bedroom and then just general life really we might take chai on a walk i don't know follow along i'm sure i'm sure i'll vlog it vlog yeah i'm sure i'll vlog it and keep you in the loop as always but yeah okay i'm gonna go and get the bench from the um garage and i'm gonna do it outside and make most of this sun Chai, as always, is cute and doing really well. He's a big boy, aren't you? He's 17 weeks now. My 17 weeks old puppy, like, look at him. What a big boy. Oh, he's tired. He's just been having a mad five minutes, literally so happy. Because um, I went to work this morning. So I've come in and he's literally been buzzing that I've got back. And then he's buzzing that Dad's outside. So you've just been happy and you're just falling to sleep, aren't you? Yeah. I like to keep um, you updated with Chai because I know there's lots of you that love pup updates <laughs> and I love to see them and look back on them. But look at that sleepy boy out. <laughs> The new tiles that we've had delivered because we ran out, we found a slightly different colour but Brad's checked on the website and we have ordered the correct ones. Um, so they're obviously not going to have the right... These have been out of stock for fucking months. Yeah, so have they changed them? They must have. Well, we can't do anything about it, can we, at the end of the day? And luckily, it's just these here. So and I'm and I'm going to have plant pots and I'm going to have a mat there in front of the door. So, so no, exactly. I mean, it's very little. Very little. You could always fucking 
No, I don't mind. I'm him up, but... No, it's okay. But yeah, so Brad's just cutting them all out, which is doing a good job. Amazing, actually. And then just these ones here left to do to there. And then all down there is going to be um, stones. Um, so we've just got how many left? Five to cut? One, two, three, four. Four well, to three, cut. And one yeah. Slip. Um, which is nice. So then that'll be done, and then you're just gonna fill them in, aren't you? Yeah. Well, and if I do them today, or yeah, or yeah, but at least you've got them cut out ready, yeah. ready to go. But yeah, amazing. It's looking amazing. The garden's gonna come together because the woods come in. Um, Tuesday, this is the view so far. So houses are going there, and then houses will be all down there. Oh, he's looking up at somebody then. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so there'll be a row of houses there. So luckily, we have got everyone's garden, so we don't have a house directly at the bottom, or really too close to us, so we get lots of sunlight, um, which is just what we wanted, innit, my gorgeous boy? Look how brilliant he is. We're, I'm standing, Dad's doing all that, and he's just sat here chilling. You're just such a good boy, aren't you? Oh, God, you're all dusty and all, aren't you? All dusty. So, I'm doing the bench. I've sanded the top slightly because it was a bit too orange, but I am liking the colour that it's going. So, it was that, and then it's that. Um, it's not obviously finished. I'm going to sand the legs down, um, on the bits where like, so can you see where the wood filler has been and it just not painting as well as I wanted to. So I'm gonna sand it down, repaint the legs and then sand the legs to match the top. Um, that's what I'm thinking anyway and then we'll see what we're working with. Um, but yeah, it's going, going well, thank goodness. <laughs> I've sanded down what I think I should. Um, I'm just going to give it a wipe and then I'm going to re varnish, not varnish, um, stain the legs. And then I'm impatient, so then I'm probably going to sand them straight away <laughs> and try and get them to the top of the bench, like how I like it. And um, we shall see. If it don't work, it don't work. It is what it is. Um, but I'm going to give it a go and start that now. <laughs> This is what we're looking at right now, but I've just gone and grabbed the white paint from the garage and I'm gonna try and like white wash it. I don't know how again that's gonna turn out. I'm gonna start on the legs because I like the top, not so much the legs. So we're gonna see. We're just we're just experimenting today, yeah? That's what we're doing, going wild. I don't know how this is gonna go. It's a matte paint, it's not wood paint, it's for the walls, but it's all we've got. And it's a Sunday, the shops will be closing, and I, like I've said before, I'm impatient. I like instant gratification, or whatever that's called, like, instant results. This could end disastrously. Oh, brilliantly. But I'm going to go in with the wet cloth. I don't know if I'm just wiping it all off. I think I am. I'm doing. Do you want to do the corner one in the original slab? The yeah. Little sliver? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
so this is our next project brad's obviously not cementing them today we're going to do that another day but they're all cut ready to go we're not going to put the stones down until we cement them but we are dismantling this table <laughs> Um, Brad made it for us when we first moved in um, just so that we had somewhere to sit at when it was sunny. It wasn't bad, it's just because it's, yeah, like, it's we've just nearly a ton of, ton of weight on there. Um, so we're taking all of these off and just going to lie them at the side of the house because we don't want to put them on the grass because we don't want to kill the grass. Brad's doing the decking next week so we don't want to put them on there and we're not putting them on the slabs because we don't want them to crack or like scratch. So we're just going to shove them down the side where the, the pebbles are going to go. Um, so obviously that's why we're not doing the pebbles. And then we're going to dismantle this. And you know what? I cannot wait to see this gone. Honestly can't. It was good when we first moved in to sit and eat dinner. But it just oh, it just takes up a lot of room, doesn't it? It'd be nice to see... It's a bodge job table, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it was good for us. But yeah, we're just going to take this down um, and get these moved and get it gone. We've had a little bit of change of plan. We're not gonna take this down today because it's screwed together with Brad's screw gun and he's not got his screw gun. And he said it'd be easier just to take it down with his screw gun than it would be to try and break it apart. So he's gonna do that when he brings his screw gun home. The plants are all over there moved. Um, everything's tidy and away now. Um, obviously this needs to be done. Um, but that's all off. All of the slabs are off and down the side. Now this is the bench and what it's looking like. So I'm going to go and put it upstairs um, and try and dress it up and see what I think. I mean, it's not exactly what I had in mind. It's not what I envisioned. But I'm going to go with the flow and see if I can make it work and make myself really like it. If not... I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll try again. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's not too bad. I just don't love the way it looks. I like the top. I don't mind the top. But there is marks on it. But um, Brad says it, it must be when the wood was cut because, obviously, the sander's not done it on that side. Um, so it can't have been the sander. So, yeah, no, it, the top's okay. The legs, I just really don't like the legs. But I'm going to try and make myself, okay? <laughs> So this is our bedroom before the bench. So it's very neutral, obviously we've got our frame there that we need to put another piece of wood along the bottom because we ran out and then put it up on the wall. I'm not sure what's gonna go here yet. Not not too bothered about rushing it. But the bench is gonna go here. Um, our bedroom, like I said, is very neutral but that's what I wanted it to be. I want it to be relaxing. Um, and then with green from plants, so I have bought a few plants up, so obviously there's one there um, And I'm going to put a few more in but I'm going to dress the bench in here now and see what I think I've bought a few plants chai I'm coming back down in a minute darling So I've bought a few plants up and a few pots to see if that plant can go in a different pot um, And then I'm going to put it in there and dress it up and see what we're looking like. So yeah, there is the before. So this is what we're working with, so I've got a picture from my friend that I got for my birthday a couple of years ago, so, well I've got it more than a couple of years ago. If you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeam, oh god I can't speak, like sunbeams and you will always look lovely and I think that's so nice. I've got a few books and I've rested them on a nice throw here. I've got my um, 
diffuser on another piece of wood just to add a little bit more texture um, and then a lovely plant to add some greenery um, and then I thought across this side ignore these it doesn't fit in there and then I've added that there um, again this is still a work in progress because that diffuser was there but I wanted it I knew I wanted it at the bottom of the bed somewhere so I do love that I think that looks kind of pretty and then eventually I need to get a basket I'm going to get a basket that I put underneath and that's where my slippers and the hot water bottle will live um, but for now I think that looks pretty cute I'm going to change the picture frame so I am going to go downstairs in a minute and DIY it because um, rose gold isn't really my style it's a little bit girly I like pink and it's not that I don't like it but it's just not what I wanted to go for in here so I'm going to change the colour of the frame um, and then I am going to put a few of these fairy lights when I can get them out um, some of these copper ones I think around there so at night time we can put it on and it'll look super cosy so what do you guys think about that would you do something different obviously imagine it with a basket um, it's not the best to sit on I'd say it's a little bit wobbly because of the carpet but it's more so just for show um, and like books and yeah no but I do really like that I think that looks I'm happy with it actually I am really happy with it <laughs> it's cute and just like that the fairy lights are on how cute are they I think maybe when I get a basket underneath I might put the fairy lights on the basket underneath and um, but for now I love them on that I think that looks so cute but I'm gonna shout Brad up and ask him if he wants to come have a look and give me his opinion see what we're thinking on what it's looking like Ooh. do you like it mm. I'm gonna get a basket to go underneath where I, my slippers and the water, hot water bottle will live. Mm -hmm. But what do you think to it? I like it. It's not very practical to sit on. It's a little bit wobbly because of the carpet. Mm -hmm. So if we just say that we don't really sit on it, it's just more of a... Screw it back to the um, skateboard. Oh, yeah, maybe that might be... I don't know, but for now... Or I could always put a bit of wood under the seat at the back. What do you mean? So I could put a little bit of wood on the rear mm. and then pin it to the wall. Oh, true. Toy something. Yeah. Well, that's down the line, but yeah, for now, do you yeah. like it? I love it. I'd quite like it, actually. Got... Yeah, it's quite cute, isn't it? So actually. you didn't like, particularly like the colour book. I don't love the legs still, but that's I fine. can deal with them. I am going to change the colour of that picture frame, though. Yeah. I'm going to go and paint it in a minute. You want to paint it? Yeah. <laughs> what are you painting it with? Paint. <laughs> Any particular paint? I'm going to put some baking powder in it. Oh, okay. And make it textured. You do so the it... vase as well. I might do the vase. You can do that while she's putting your flags back on you. Yeah. Yeah. I got baking soda, baking soda. Okay, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Liverpool, Man City, one more, 20 minutes playing. Wow, good game. Yeah, it's a shame you're not watching it with me. I'll come and watch it in a minute, baby. Hey, you don't love me no more. <laughs> I thought I would just do um, a mini haul of what I got from ASOS. Cause it got delivered today. Oh, ignore it. My hands actually aren't dirty, by the way. It's still that pain. It's just that it like it sticks to you, but you can peel it off, but you don't wash off. You know, to peel it off. But I thought I'd show you what I've got. It's nothing too exciting, and it's not much, but I thought I'd share it with you. So ooh, in this one, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand Easy Highlighter illuminate it face something so look, i got it in spotlight because i saw someone do a video Let's just put one so oh, okay cool wow oh yeah oh that's really pretty yeah i'm gonna like that 
I mean, my hands are dirty and I don't want to put it on my face now because I've got literally like... I'm not going to do nothing because I've already got anything on. <laughs> yeah, I shall show you my face when I've actually got makeup on and used it. If you would like me to do um, a makeup tutorial of not to like be a makeup guru because I'm not but like just show you what I actually do for my makeup if that's something you're interested in I'll definitely do a like a get ready with me or a just makeup routine because I've, I've just recently bought some new products so I want to try them out I have tried some and I really like them um, but yeah I don't mind doing that I actually quite enjoy doing that so but I'm only going to do it if you actually want it and then I bought this top Oh, that's really cute actually. Um, it's from Topshop. The arm, only problem that scares me is the arms are looking quite long and I don't have. Yeah, maybe. I'll try it on. We shall see. But that was from Topshop, but obviously off ASOS because the actual Topshop website is no longer a thing. Um, but I can't remember how much it was, but that's cute. I'll try it on. And then I got a new black cardigan for work because my other one was honestly at the end of the road, like not even joking, it was looked like it was falling apart. It's a Vera Moda one this is. Nothing too exciting like I said, but just a black cardigan with pockets. Oh, it feels really nice, a nice knit. Um, oh, that's lovely, yeah. And this was, it says 34.99, but I'm sure it was. Wow. I mean, I'm just looking at the PLN. What? What is that? Um. So USD is US dollars. Great British pound. Oh, it's twenty-eight pound. Um, EUR. What is PLN? Because this would be one hundred and forty-nine ninety-nine. Wow. Wow, DKK would be 259.95. Wow. I mean, obviously I know it all would work out technically the same, but just sounds a lot, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, I love that. That's cute. That'll be coming with me to work. Um I love a cardigan. I'm such a comfort queen. <laughs> I like a comfortable outfit. There's nothing worse than feeling um, restricted. And I'm like that in day-to-day -day life. And I'm like, I would rather be comfortable. I mean, this outfit is not... Like, I've put this on because I knew I was going outside. And these jeans have a hole in them because of chai. And also a grass stain on the knee. So I wasn't bothered about getting them dirty whilst I was on the floor painting um, and sanding. But... Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to paint that frame um, and then bring it back up because hopefully it dries because I don't need a lot of paint on it. I mean, hopefully it works out because I really do like that picture and that frame is the perfect size for it, but it should do. Yeah, I'll, you know what, you've got to go with the flow, sometimes you've got to take a risk, haven't you? And um, I'm going to do it with the picture frame. I'm in my dressing gown. As always, <laughs> I'm just going to take it out of the frame because I don't want to get anything on the pictures or the print. Oh, I love that. And then I'm going to take the glass out as well because luckily it comes out. And I don't want to have to clean that. So that's all good. And that's just going to go there. I've got my towel. My little pad. I've got my laptop set up. Because I think I'm going to FaceTime Lydia. And if she doesn't answer, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. And I've got this cream acrylic paint. And then this um, raw umber, it's called, acrylic paint. And then some um, baking powder. Because I want it to be textured. I'm not going to put loads in because... It was the first time I'd ever used it the other week on the picture and it does froth up quite a lot and I don't want it to froth up ridiculous amounts. Like I don't want like a, maybe I do want a bubble picture. But I'm just going to mix. I'll put it down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to mix. I've put a bit of baking powder. Ignore this, this is Sharpie. Oh no, is that going to dye it? Oh yeah. 
Hang it. Oh, well, we should see what colour it turns out. I'm just going to put a blob of that brown in and see what we're working with. And obviously mix in the baking powder as we go. The baking powder basically just adds a little bit of texture because it makes the paint froth up. Which is what I want. I don't want it to be a sleek painting. I want it to be textured. I want it to have character. The black is definitely mixing in this. Is it? No, I don't think it is. Okay, that's good. So, that's the colour we're working with right now. So, ignore the noise in the back, by the way. That is the tumble dryer and the washing machine, as always. Sunday is the clean day, and I had about five loads. So, living my best life doing that. I might add a little bit more um, baking powders because I definitely want texture. Another technique I've seen is where people add like sand to make it actually grainy um, which I think would look sick. I don't know about a picture frame but it would look really cool. So I'm just going to go for it and try and start painting and see how much this wants to froth up. So this is what we're looking at so far. I don't know, it's not gonna show yet that well, is it? Is it gonna show up? Come on. So it's textured, it's still wet. Oh yeah, I did the vase and all. That needs like two or three more coats. But I like the way that looks. And whilst I was doing that, I was on the phone to Lydia. So, Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that done. And now I'm gonna go and have a shower. And no, she's not. Brad, we've got a quiche for dinner. Quiche, chips, and beans. Healthy. You can't make it. No, it's just an oven warm. I bought it from Aldi. I could probably make it. We could make a quiche, but we, you need convenient meals, don't you? Yeah. Um, it's the weekend. It's the weekend, yeah, exactly. So yeah. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to wash my hair because it feels like it's got all like stuff in it from being outside when everything was being sawed. What's it called? Not sword. What's it, what's it called? Cook. Yeah, but what would you call it? It's a grinder. Grinded. Grinded. Yeah. And also being um, sanded. So yeah, I'm gonna wash that. What my face feels like. Just stuff funny. So I'm gonna like do that. I had like a face mask on it, just left it dead dry. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that, take my makeup off, get in my comfies again, um, and eat my dinner. Mm. So I should see you in a minute. Oh, look at tabs. Look at them tabs. <laughs> look at them tabs. Get ready. Ready. <laughs> Speak! 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 <laughs> it's finished! Look at that! That looks so much better and it's so much more the room vibe. I know this is bright orange, but I like that. But the frame obviously being rose gold, but this is literally going with the vibe, um, like the texture. Can you see it? That's a bit better. I love that. So I'm just gonna go and put that in the room now. There it is in all its glory. Absolutely love that. So happy with how that is looking. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I'm so happy. Yes. Let me know what you think of that. Still obviously not 100% finished with this bedroom. Not got loads to do, but obviously I want to get some bedside lights, um, some like dangly ones with rope. Um, possibly put up 
something in front of that bench i'm not sure i'm not sure it's a work in progress um but i'm happy with it so far and it's the relaxing room that i've have been envisioning since we literally thought about moving out so yes i'm happy so right now i'm just well i've just been folding up all of this washing getting another load in folding up a little bit more taking them upstairs and then it'll be sitting down with some quiche chips beans and we added some onion rings to it because i've got this thing for onion rings at the minute i love them I do, I love them and I'm going to chill and it is currently 20 to 8 so it's all in good time. Oh, oh also, look at this basil plant. But, so there's my normal basil which is loving life. Although it keeps flowering and I know that flowers means that it's basically coming to the end of its life. So you have to keep picking them up off, off apparently. Um, but look at this basil, how beautiful is it? It's so pretty. Um, so... This is a different ca what what kind of basil is this brad pardon i don't hear you greek greek basil so um, it's beautiful and there we have it dinner is served it doesn't look like the most appetizing thing and it's definitely not the healthiest thing but it is a sunday and i don't want to cook loads i wanted to put stuff in the oven and forget about it while we did whatever we did. The alarm's gone off and I've served it up. Um, so yes, it's not the most nutritious, <laughs> but it'll be tasty. Um, it's what, partly what I would call a brown meal, um, except a brown meal might include like more, more nuggets and stuff like that, but it's tasty. it'll be tasty. Um, but yeah, so we've got beans, some chips, quiche, and some onion rings that are, as a added extra, so healthy health <laughs> um, now we eat, we eat really healthy through the week and we cook everything everything basically fresh so we're allowed to just be lazy sometimes we are we're allowed to be lazy we've just been chilling on the sofa i'm just about to eat a cream egg um and Brad's going down all his emails and deleting loads that are just taking up I've got space. Fifty-four. Fifty-four left. That's it. Wow. You've put in some work. You had four thousand not that long ago. So, <clears throat> on my inbox there's four hundred. Okay. But apparently there's fifty-four unread for some reason. Oh, okay. <sighs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to end this here. Um, so thank you so much for watching. And as always, thank you um, for being so lovely. Um, and please like and subscribe. Subscribe if you want already, because I'm nearly at a thousand. Um, and I shall see you next Tuesday. See you later. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. Goodbye. Enjoy. <laughs>